Well, the Grand Mufti of Australia. I mean, he studied in Al-Azhar University in Cairo, in Egypt. And I had visited that university and I'd taken a look at their curriculum and I know exactly what they teach. And the Grand Mufti of Australia, Dr. Ibrahim Abu Muhammad, cannot deny this fact at all. The Grand Mufti of Australia studies, uh, he's, he received his uh, degree from uh, Al Cairo University in uh, Egypt. And in that very university, they teach the students that it's okay to wipe yourselves in the toilet with the pages of the Bible and the pages of the Torah. And you can insult Christianity and insult uh, Judaism. Why? Because it's not real Islam. That's not the religion of God. Therefore, wipe yourselves in the toilet with the pages of their book. But if someone draws a cartoon about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, you want to go and behead him. But it's okay for you to go and do that to, to other people's religious and holy books. It's not making sense. I, I follow a Muhammad that when he used to walk the streets, people used to insult him and spit at him and, dig, and, and direct foul language towards him and wage war against him. And all he did was pray for the enemy. That is the Muhammad I follow. And that's the problem with my version of the Prophet Muhammad because only a minority follow such a Muhammad. The majority of the people follow a Muhammad that is a pedophile terrorist. That's the problem with, with the majority of Muslims. And they don't have the time to go and research for the truth and reject what is false. I, once upon a time, was schooled in a Muslim, typical Muslim college. And what do they teach you in a Muslim college? They teach you hate. They teach you to not accept anyone else's ideology. But it's when I moved from the Islamic college in Perth, and I went to a public Australian school, that's when I began to inter interact with the Christians and the Jews from, for the first time in my life. And that's when I understood that this Quran, when it refers to Allah being my God, that Allah, that God, is the same Father in Christianity. So if the Christians and the Jews and the Muslims all worship the Creator, regardless of what you label Him, why is it that we have to kill each other? The Muslim school never taught me that. The Muslim school told me that Christians and the Jews will never accept you unless you go and become one of them. Of course. Well, Muslims don't accept the Christians and the Jews either. Religions believe they're on the right path. Each religion believes it's the truth. It doesn't mean you go around killing each other because that's how they think. You don't kill people for the way they, they think. That's their level of thinking. If I think differently than you, you don't come and kill me. That's not right. And that's exactly what's been happening all this time. When are we going to wake up? It starts with the schools. It starts with the preachers. Can you believe I'm receiving messages from uh, people taking photos of the preacher in the mosque from around the world. And the preacher's preaching Islam with a, a gun in his hand. I'm going to post a photo tonight. A preacher preaching Islam on the pulpit with a machine gun in his hand. Well, of course, if your religion revolves around killing other people, murdering other people from other religions, killing the non-Muslim, to bring victory to Islam, we're never going to see the end of terrorism. I really don't know. You know, I don't want to come out and appear to be... Uh, I'm very sad. I'm very sad. We have a big problem in our religion. Big problem. And whoever's going to say no is a liar. Whoever says there's no problem in the Islamic religion. Everything's beautiful. We don't need reformation. We don't need to alter and, and kick the radicals out of our communities and ban radical preachers. You know, leave the borders open and, and all this, this type of talk. They're lying to you. That's what's going to get us killed. 